Today, we're gonna to be talking about a few different things that you can do to improve your trading and get you one step closer to living your dream life. What's good, guys? How you guys doing today? We are back again with another video. As you can tell by the title, today we're gonna to be talking about a few different things that you can do to help improve your trading and make sure that you're on the right track to becoming that profitable trader that you really want to be and that you know you can be. So as you guys know, I'm gonna go ahead and explain this now. I'm an unprofitable trader. I would say I'm around the break even phase. I'm not really losing a lot of money, but I'm not really gaining a lot of money either. I'm currently in the evaluation phase of a funded account. I'm actually on step two, so I'm on my way to passing that. So do not take any of this advice if you don't wanna believe me, you don't have to. Basically, I'm just giving you my opinion, trying to help you guys out. If you wanna listen, great, if not, oh well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. So, I think one of the most important things that you can do when you are trading is to journal your trades, especially if you are trading on a demo, because if you're trading on demo and you're just taking trades blindly, you're not really gonna get anything out of it. I think you should uh, journal your trades no matter what, live demo funded anything but definitely if you're on demo and when i say journal your trades i'm not talking about just writing down i lost this trade or i won this trade so i'll just explain kind of how i journal my trades i use this app called OneNote on my computer i take a screenshot of the trade that i took i mark it up on trading view take a screenshot of it and then type out what I was feeling, why I took the trade, the confluences that I used, everything like that. And I basically am trying to understand why it was a winner, why it was a loser, how I'm feeling during the trades. Make sure that you write down your emotions. I've had multiple instances where I didn't journal my trades for three days in a row, and then I go and journal all three of the trades that I took, and I noticed that I made the exact same mistake in all three trades. So it's little things like that that would just kind of help you gather your emotions and realize some things that you're doing right, some things that you're doing wrong. And it also is a very good thing because you can look back on that journal. Once you have became profitable, you can look back and you can be like, wow, look how far I've come. So I actually have two journals for my trades. I have one where I just kind of write down what I did for the day. I write down the trades that I took and then I kind of just write about my life. And then I have another journal where I actually take screenshots of the trades, write down my emotions, and it's strictly about trading. All right, so number one, journal your trades. The next one is going to be back test. So anytime that you think you want to learn how to use a strategy or anything, you need to back test, okay? When I back test, it overall just helps me feel more comfortable on the charts. It helps me feel more comfortable with my strategy and it just helps overall with, I feel like it helps me with my psychology as well a little bit. And I'm not saying you have to back test every day. You don't even really have to back test every week. Um, I usually will back test maybe like once or twice a week. And if I'm ever bored, I'll back test sometimes. But especially if you're taking some sort of a break, like if you're going on vacation or something, or if you're just taking a week off from trading, before you get back into it, you can back test a little bit. There's a bunch of different ways you can back test. Like you can pay for replay on TradingView and you can replay it and actually like play through the markets. There's a lot of different places like apps and stuff, websites that you can pay a monthly fee and you can actually go through and it's almost like it's a live market. With TradingView, it's just gonna replay the candles, but there's some where it's like, looks like a live market or you can just scroll back through the chart and just look at the charts and just, you know, look at your setup and see what would have happened if you would have took that trade. I think all of those ways are good ways. Obviously the best form is going to be replaying it somehow. The best form is gonna be a live market scenario, but if you don't wanna do that, replaying it I think is good too. But overall, I think you should backtest sometimes, not all the time. It does help with your psychology and I think it will help you overall just to be more confident in your strategy. The next one, you need to take in as much information as possible. This helped me 
Like when I first found out about trading, I first found out what it was. There were so many different directions you can go. There's stocks, options, Forex, futures, like so many different things. And it's just a lot of information to take in, but you want to take in as much information as possible because you will not know which one you're gonna like the best. You don't know which one's gonna work for you until you try them. So for me, I started trading stocks, just regular stocks in the, in the stock market. Didn't like it. So then I moved to trading Forex. I didn't really like Forex that much. It wasn't really for me. And then I found futures, which is absolutely perfect for me. That's what I like to trade. But for you, it might be different. You might like trading Forex. Like you might even like trading options. I never tried options and it's just kind of too confusing for me, but a lot of people love options. So like there's so many different things. There's a million different strategies out there. There's so many different mentors, people you can follow. You're going to watch a lot of videos and a lot of those videos are probably not going to be very beneficial for you. They're probably gonna be stuff that's wrong in the long run, you have to go through your own journey to get to the point where you can be profitable because you're not, there's there's literally nothing that you can do to just sit there and learn for two days and then you'll be profitable. So you wanna take in as much information as possible. You want to watch a ton of videos. You wanna watch TikToks. You want to look up a bunch of people. You want to experiment with Forex options, futures, anything like on demo, obviously, don't use your real money. Basically, do not be afraid to change up what you're doing when you first start. This is whenever you really have no idea what you like, you don't know what you're doing, like you're just now getting into it. Try a bunch of different things. Take in as much information as you can and eventually you will get to the point where you know what you like and that's what you wanna go for. The next one, whatever Discord you're in, because I know you, I, I, I know you're in a Discord. I know you're copying those trades. Whatever Discord you're in, either one, stop copying the trades that they're posting, or two, just leave the Discord if you have to. Because if you truly want to be a profitable day trader, sitting in a Discord copying trades is not gonna get you there. When you're first starting out, if you're just now learning a new strategy, sure, you can sit there, you can copy the trades, just kind of get a feel. But once you know the strategy, you have to start doing it on your own. Because if not, you're literally just going to be spoon fed for your entire life and that's not gonna make you profitable. Because once you get to the point where you're just copying trades over and over, you're just not even gonna think about it and you're just gonna full port every single time. If you truly want to be a profitable day trader, you're going to have to man up and just do it on your own. You have to take your own trades. You have to learn a strategy that is yours. You have to just figure out your shit. I mean, it's that plain and simple. On to the next. You need to learn your strategy inside and out. Once you find a strategy that you like, you've back tested it, you know it works, you like it, it fits your trading style, it fits the time that you like to trade, it fits the pair or um, asset that you like trading. Once you find that strategy for you, you need to learn it inside and out, stick to it and do not change. The reason for this is if you aren't really sure which strategy is yours, you're not sure which strategy you like using, you're gonna have 10 different strategies running through your mind and they're gonna be telling you to go two different directions and you're not gonna know which one to pick. So you need to stick with one strategy, write down the strategy, follow the rules constantly, know it inside and out. Know that when this happens, you're gonna do this. When this happens, you're gonna do that. My take profit goes there, my stop loss goes there every time. Just know it. Know it so well that you can confidently look at the charts and you can say, okay, that's my strategy. That's when I enter and that's when I exit. All right, next. And this will be the final one. You need to learn how to take a loss. If you can learn how to take a loss early, it will help you so much in the long run. That's something that I didn't really learn early. I kind of struggled with it at first. Dude, if you can learn how to take a loss, it's going to help you so much. 
because taking losses is an absolutely huge part of trading. If you can learn how to take a loss, you can learn to not let it affect you. Your mindset needs to be every single time you take a loss, okay, that's an opportunity for me to learn. That's an opportunity for me to get better. You don't need to be getting mad, and I've, I've had a lot of trouble with this. You don't need to get mad, you don't need to get upset, you don't need to switch your strategy after losing, you don't need to say, well, I did my strategy correctly, why am I losing, I should be winning. No, you take what the market gives you, and that's it. If you're sitting there and you're like, well, I did my strategy perfectly, I should be winning, why is the market going in the wrong way? The market's gonna go wherever it wants to go. You're you're just there. You're taking what the market gives you. If it goes in your favor, great. If it doesn't, great. I get to learn from it. So yeah, if you can learn how to take a loss, it's gonna help you a hundred times over. You're gonna be so much better with your psychology aspect, but it's not as easy as it sounds because taking a loss is probably one of the hardest things to master when you're trading. But yeah, guys, that was some things that will help you out with your trading journey. Once again, remember I am unprofitable, so you don't have to listen to me if you don't want to. I'm just kind of throwing out my opinions. If you guys have any comments, questions, anything, leave them down in the comment section. Um, drop a like if you want to, subscribe. I'll probably be posting one to two videos a week. Hopefully at least one video a week, but yeah. So that's it for me. I will speak to you guys later.